Wood fiber insulation is a $700 million market in Europe, and now it's finally entering the US building industry. I've received so many comments about this product, so in this video, we're going to look at how it's made, the different types available, and its pros and cons. Wood fiber insulation board is composed of ground up, post industrial waste, recycled wood chips, and shavings. A large magnet removes any magnetic impurities before the wood is shredded into small pieces. After that step, wood fiber insulation can be processed two ways, the wet or the dry method. In the wet process, wood chips are boiled with water and chemicals, which break them down into fibers. Sugars, which can attract fungus and mold, are removed. The slurry is poured onto a sieve and compressed to remove as much water as possible. Steam softens the natural lignin and bonds the fibers together. These boards are 3 quarters of an inch or 20 millimeters thick, but can be laminated with glued into thicker boards up to 4 inches or 120 millimeters in thickness. This is an older, more intensive energy method. In the dry process, ground up wood fibers are mixed with a synthetic polyurethane glue or resin binder called PMDI, polymeric methylene diphenyl diisocyanate. This is a stable and inert glue that does not off gas. A small amount of paraffin wax is added to make it water repellent. The mixture is laid on a conveyor belt and compressed to the correct thickness and density. Steam is applied to cure the boards. These boards are made to the desired thickness and are not usually laminated. This product is also called low density fiberboard or LDF. It's similar to medium density fiberboard or MDF, which is used to make furniture. High density fiberboard or HDF, like masonite, is also used in furniture and construction. 475 High Performance Building Supply, based in New York, sells Gutex fiberboard. They sent me these samples for an unpaid, unbiased review. The US currently doesn't have any local manufacturers of wood fiber insulation, but there is a company called GoLab that will soon be opening in Maine. Wood fiber insulation is very versatile and can be used for many different applications. Gutex Multitherm is an exterior and interior product that can be used on roofs and walls. It has tongue and groove joints on all four sides that allow for fast installation. It's composed of 95% wood, 4% polyurethane binder, and 1% paraffin wax. It has an R value of 3.6 per inch, permeability of 44 perms per inch, and compressive strength of 70 kilopascals. Gutex Ultra Therm is an exterior product used on roofs. It has self-shedding tongue and groove edges on all four sides. It's composed of 95.25% wood, 4% polyurethane binder, and 0.75% paraffin. It has an R value of 3.4 per inch, permeability of 44 perms per inch, and compressive strength of 150 kilopascals. That's more than twice the compressive strength of multi-therm. Gutex Thermo Wall is an exterior and interior product that can be used on roofs, walls, and floors. You can also apply a three-coat stucco directly on this product. It has a butt joint. It's composed of 94.5% wood, 4% polyurethane binder, and 1.5% paraffin. It has an R value of 3.6 per inch, permeability of 44, and compressive strength of 100. Gutex Thermoflex is a flexible interior product that can be used between rafters and studs. It friction fits into place. It's composed of 86% wood, 6% polyolefin, and 8% ammonium polyphosphate. It has an R value of 4 and permeability of 65. Gutex Thermofiber is a blown-in loose fill product that can be used between rafters and studs. It's composed of 91% wood and 9% ammonium salts. It has an R value of 3.8 and permeability of over 100. Now let's go over all the advantages of wood fiber insulation. It's marketed as a safe, natural, high-performing alternative to many synthetic options. Wood is also a renewable resource and a natural carbon sink, which means that it absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. These products are carbon negative in Europe because for every ton of carbon used to make this, 3.67 tons of carbon dioxide was removed from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. Gutex also uses wood chips and shavings from nearby sawmills to reduce transportation energy consumption. The wood is harvested using sustainable forestry practices. When it's shipped to North America, its embodied carbon level increases, so having a local manufacturer is ideal. I guess a valid question would be, why are wood studs considered to be thermal bridges that conduct heat, but wood fiber is insulation that stops heat? 
The difference is that wood studs have continuous strands from one edge to the other, while wood fiber is made of tiny wood shavings with air gaps between them, which you can see at a microscopic scale. That trapped air stops the flow of heat. They also have very good dimensional stability and low thermal drift. Even this flexible insulation bounces right back after being compressed. They barely shed, they're not itchy, and they don't have any VOCs. They have surprisingly good water repellency because of the paraffin content. Water puddled on the surface and then rolled right off. It did not soak through or discolor. Thermoflex insulation absorbed some water, but it did not lose its integrity or loft. Gutex also has a very good perm rating, around 44 perms per inch. It allows water vapor to pass through the boards, preventing condensation in the wall assembly. The boards can hold up to 15% of their weight in moisture without losing their insulation capacity. When the air is dry, the moisture escapes, reducing the risk of mold formation. If you haven't watched my video on perm ratings, I'll link it up here. They have good fire resistance too. While they did blacken, the fire did not spread and it was extinguished immediately. The smell of burning wood brought back memories of the laser cutter in architecture school. This also has very good acoustic properties because of their high densities, open porosity and tight tonguing groove joints. When installed properly, Gutex boards can reduce sound levels by 50 decibels. Wood fiber is a more effective sound barrier than foam, mineral wool or fiberglass. The boards can be cut with a table saw or reciprocating saw without producing much sawdust. The tongue and groove joints allow for easy installation. Now for the disadvantages. It's more expensive right now. Multi-thumb 40 costs $1.80 per square foot with an R value of 5.7 compared to Rockwell Comfort Board which is $1.20 per square foot with an R value of 6. It's also designed for the metric system and is incompatible with the 4-foot grid used in the States. However, the tongue and groove joints means that seams don't have to land on framing members. It's not widely available, so you have to account for significant lead times after you place your order. It's also sold by the pallet, so you have to buy it in large quantities. That's it. I tried not to be biased and find other issues, but I couldn't. I am very impressed with this product. Like I've said in previous videos, I think the European construction industry is years ahead of the American industry and I truly believe that engineered wood products are the future. I'm also very impressed with both Gutex and 475 Building Supply. They understand that the wall assembly works as a system and they educate both DIYers and professionals on how to use these. They have smart enclosure systems for masonry retrofits, wood retrofits, 2 by framing, double studs, metal frame and mass timber. In addition to the insulation samples, they also sent me samples of their vapor permeable house wraps and adhesives. This again tells me that they're advocates for construction science and they don't want people to just slap this on any wall and create a Frankenstein wall assembly. I'm excited to see this product used in the States, not just as bats between studs, but also as continuous exterior insulation let me know what you think about wood fiber insulation in the comments below. I'll link my Patreon page in the description if you can support me, I'd really appreciate it. A big thank you to everyone already supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See ya.